Hello everyone, it's me, Miss Mademoiselle, and today I'm going to be showing you five different ideas of things to do when you are bored. Because now we have so much time at home, and you probably might be getting bored. So here are a few ideas. Let's get into it. So the first thing on my list of things to do when you're bored is to design a phone case. And all you need to do this is trace your phone onto some paper. I use drawing paper, but you don't have to. Draw a design, color it, and then cut it out from the paper, and then place it into your phone case. Make sure to use a clear phone case when doing this. That way you can see your design through the case. And that's it. And you've got a cute custom design phone case. So the next thing I have planned is to paint something. So this is pretty self-explanatory. You just find an object that is plain and boring and just paint it. Um, you don't have to paint it though. You can just design it with markers or colored pencils, whatever you have laying around. Depending on the surface though, um, I am painting a rock here because I have a few collected that I've been wanting to paint for a while but you can pretty much paint anything. You can even just paint on a normal canvas or a piece of drawing paper, um, anything really. And this is how my rock turned out. So as you can see, I did a red to yellow ombre and I finished it off with a gloss Mod Podge to give it some shine. So this next idea is to just learn something new or work on a skill that you're not very good at. So one example is sewing. Um, I have a sewing machine. You can just use a needle and thread though. You could try realistic art. I'm not the best at that so I've been trying that out. And another option is digital art. So I got this app called Sketchbook. I would highly recommend it for digital art. And it's really great because it has so many different settings and options. And it's also super easy and beginner friendly. So I would definitely recommend getting that app for digital art. So another thing you can do is to repaint an old canvas. So I have an old canvas here. Um, I originally did this like rainbow masking tape thing. But I didn't really like it, so I painted over it with white paint. You can still see the original art a little bit, but it's not so bad because I will be painting it over it anyway. And um, I will put on the screen here what I am trying to do. Um, and this is a really cheap and easy method. If you don't want to go out and buy a canvas, but you have a bunch laying around, and that's pretty much it. So another idea of something to do in your board is to just doodle. You can just grab a sketchbook or a piece of paper and a marker. One idea is to draw a squiggly line across your paper. Um, I did it diagonally. And then fill up the line with these like banana shaped things. They're just these curved lines, as you can see. And then fill up your line, and once you're done, you can start going outside of the line. And you just keep doing that until you fill up the page. And then it should look something like this. So you can color in this pattern, but I left mine black and white because I just prefer it that way. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to leave a big thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!